We're at South High School where tonight the Red Wings host Green Bay West in the opening of the Fox River, River Valley Classic Conference. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is the coach Chris Wright. Chris, before we get started tonight, I just want to send a thank you out to uh, Greg Schwartz for subbing in for me last week. Uh, let's talk a little bit about tonight's game. In looking at the stats last week, South rolled up a lot of offense, a lot of yards on the ground, and West gave up a lot of offense on the ground in their game uh, last week. Well, let's talk about South. South had a great opening day. Uh, John Kabai coming in, first year starter, you know, maybe questions what's going to happen. Is he going to be nervous? It's a north-south game. But he performed very well, running the ball and throwing the ball. He scattered the ball around to a bunch of his re different receivers. And, you know, everything that Coach Hine and uh, offensive quarter Chris Korf would want from a, a play player in the first game, that's what you got from John Kabai. Uh, another thing that Salt did is we knew they were going to do is give the ball to Ray Smith and they, Ray Smith ran for 242 yards, three touchdowns and really a great start for the offense for South High. Now we always say, at least I do, you know, if you're going to have a championship caliber team, you got to play good defense and uh, South gave up a lot of yards last week. Yeah, if there's any question this week, a little bit is one of those things they did uh, give up a bunch of yards, especially on the ground to Sheboygan North. One thing though I did kind of uh, like about their team is Number one, they kind of bend, but they didn't break. When it got down inside the red zone, they really shut down north quite a bit. And the second thing, they caused a lot of turnovers. Uh, the secondary had an outstanding ball game, and that, and with the, uh, like I said, not allowing the scoring in the red zone, helped, you know, propel to, uh, South to the victory. West lost their first game of the year, and uh, but they do have some offensive stars. Yeah, they have uh, Ryan Webster, I believe is the young man's name. They did throw the ball, had a little bit of success through the uh, air last week. West is one of those teams that you, you know, you know, traditionally they haven't been too good over the years. It used to be back in the 70s and the 60s and the 50s. West, back in my day. Yeah, they won everything. But right now West Athletics is a little bit down. They lost a lot of players to uh, graduation a year ago. And so they're kind of one of these teams that, you know, this is the type of team that you've got to beat, especially at home. We're looking at the schedule for South and, uh, you know, we're hoping they go 2-0 and because they got a rough part of the schedule in the middle of the season. Well, I saw one of your notes before, South, This, you know, they win today, they can uh, match last year's total, and so that's one positive you go on that, but you're right, the schedule does get a lot more difficult. Talking to Coach Hine, too, I think he said they have like six teams that made the playoffs last year on their schedule, so, I mean, their schedule is, is loaded. They took care of business last week with the big revenge game against North. North made the playoffs last year, so that's one notch on there, but you're right, after today, they go up to Southwest, who beat Notre Dame last week, so they got to take care of business tonight right here in this field. Okay, we're going to step out and we come back. We'll have the opening kickoff for this evening's football game. Two million seals and counting, killed over the last decade. Make your voice heard. Visit ifa.org to end the cruelty. Energy prices are just too high. That's what drove us to attempt the first static electricity powered home. Success has been elusive. Besides making the house itself more energy efficient, the smartest thing we did was adding Energy Star products. Static electricity may not be viable. At least we've taken a step for our future. Anybody can make their home more energy efficient. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mommy. Mm -hmm. ah! Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here.
back at South High School, and there you get a good shot of the uh, South High squad. Uh, South coached by second year man, Chris Hine. West head coach is Chris Wittig. He's in his third year. Oh, let's not have any shenanigans out at center field to begin the game. Well, Green Bay West shouldn't be there. They just should not be there. Well, if they are, then South shouldn't be, I guess. But yeah. uh, anyway, Brandon Simmons is a senior halfback. He's one of the players we can look at uh, from West, along with uh, John LeCaptain, a linebacker on defense. South, of course, is uh, led by their uh, all-star back, Ray Smith, number 37. And uh, Chris mentioned in the opening, John Kabai had a great uh, first game. And uh, I still think, Chris, and I know we talked about this a little bit in the opening, it comes down to defense. A team that plays the best defense will win the ball game tonight. Yeah, I got four points tonight, uh, Marty, and I'm going to steal uh, Greg Schwartz from a week ago. Uh, point number one, as Greg mentioned, everybody loves Raymond. That's the, uh, the uh, kind of the slogan for South High. I think we need to give him lots of touches, keep feeding him the football. Uh, number two, get off to a good start. Uh, put West down early and keep them down. Third, you got to win, win the turnover battle. 81% uh, of the time in the NFL when a team has creates more turnovers than their opponent or gets more turnovers, uh, that team wins the game. And the fourth thing I, I thought last week, it didn't really seem like a, a super, you know, was the North-South game in its first game of the year, but uh, it's kind of quiet here. So let's establish some home field advantage. It's time to get the crowd into the game. And, you know, the players played their hearts out last week. And... Uh, I don't know, it just didn't seem like a regular uh, north-south game or a football game, so get that home field, uh, you know, and the uh, crowd into the game and see if you can establish the uh, home field for the for the night. Back deep for West is uh, LeCaptain, number one, and Richard Lehman, number 20, getting ready to uh, kick off for the Red Wings is uh, number 44, I believe that is, Matt Hendricks. The opening night of Fox River Classic Conference, Drop the Valley. <laughs> I said that wrong in the opening. Low line drive kick, picked up by Lehman. He's through the middle. He's got room to roll. Nice tackle made out there by number nine for South, Charlie Rissy. So West will have it first and 10. In good field position, Chris, about the 38 yard line. Well, one thing uh, Matt Hendricks struggled with last week with his uh, kickoffs, but that was a good one, man. He got it down there, but uh, one of the uh, weapons that uh, West does of Richard Lehman, he does play some baseball. He can run a little bit. He's got a nice little arm. His brother was the quarterback last year. Ball's on the 43-yard line. Shotgun formation, handoff on the inside. Carrying the ball was number uh, 22, Luke Dubois. I think that was 23. Now ah, we'll see. Those numbers are weird though, Marty. They do blend across there. I think it was 23. Okay, 23. Gain of four yards makes it second down and six. Webster in the shotgun. Another handoff. Oh, nice hit. I believe that was Rissy on the hit. And again, it's uh, number 23 for West, Billy Sider. Short gain, just short of the 50, make it the 49. A pickup of two makes it third down and about four. Wide receivers left and right. We got a slot receiver on the right side. Webster high snap, fake handoff, he keeps it up the middle, and he's going to be short of the first down. Making the tackle in the middle of the line for uh, South is number 34, Brent Jacobs. Now, he was a long snapper last year for him as a sophomore, I believe. Well, you got fourth and one here, Marty. It looks like they're bringing out the punt unit. It is at midfield. Ball is on the South High, 48. One of the keys for West, I would think, for their success would be to uh, keep Ray Smith off the field. Right now, South has nobody back, even though they're in punt 
I don't necessarily agree with this, but they might be sending the house. And a penalty, too much time. I think West did that intentionally, Chris. Now you can send your punt unit out, or your punt receiving, which would be Ray Smith. See the punt returner too? Yep. Oh, this. Now they're sending Colin Johnson back. Rissy is back deep for South. Kick is away. And it takes a South bounce and goes out of bounds at about the 32 yard line. Not a good punt. South will have it first and 10. Ball is spotted on the, uh, I think they're gonna make it the 31. Yes it is, the 31 yard line of South. And they take over. Coming out as the quarterback is uh, number 16, John Kabai. Had a good week last week. He was uh, 10 for 13 for 163 yards. His big target was Curtis Wilson with four catches. You got trips to the left. Stretch play handoff to Smith. He gets a good block on the outside. He's through the line of scrimmage. And he's out near the 50 yard line before he's dragged down. Good block on the outside. I didn't catch a number of that kid, but uh, Smith on a nice run. Yeah, the stretch play is something they like to run there. Good, you know, opposite field pursuit there by West, but they just couldn't get to Kabai. Took a minute or two for Kabai to get the ball to Smith, but once he did, there you see it. Uh, good yardage I think that for him. Was by number 14. Yeah, I think that's Alex Burnett. He did, or excuse me, Travis Burnett. He did an outstanding job last week on blocking too. Something you don't always see in the paper, but uh, he got a lot of good blocks. 19-yard pickup, fake handoff. Kabai keeps it, goes to the outside. Brunette with a bit of a block. Kabai dances to the inside, then cuts to the outside, and he's going to be out of bounds at the 30-yard line. 20-yard pickup for John Kabai. Well, again. Brunette on that uh, block. He did that a, a week ago, too. And uh, those are little things that, uh, you know, here, look at Dances inside, gave him a hip and took it away. Brunette again on the outside, doing some blocking. Yeah, you'll read about Smith and uh, Kabai in the paper, but uh, Brunette and the, the big boys up front have got to clear those blocks. Wide receiver to the left, and then we got trips out to the right. Kabai in the shotgun. Again, the stretch play, a pitch back to Smith. Good penetration by West, but they can't make the stop. Smith on the loose. He's down to the 20, and he steps out of bounds at about the 15-yard line. Boy, they had him in the backfield, Chris, and couldn't make the tackle. John LeCaptain with the push-out. Well, LeCaptain's the one who made the play, the, almost made the, the loss there, but you're right, Smith bounced off there, and like a week ago, South is moving right down the field. First down and 10 ball on the 14 yard line. That was a 16 yard pickup for Smith. He has two carries for 35 yards. Kabai has one carry for 20. South dominating on the ground. In motion, stretch play again to Smith. Flag on the play, gets a good block on the outside by Rissy, and he's into the end zone. Check that, the block was made by Curtis Wilson, number five. But let's see what uh, the flag is all about. Holding on south. So negate that play. All the damage is being done on the outside here, Marty. You're right, yeah, they, uh, nothing between the tackles. Well, the first thing you need to do as a defense is contain and they are not doing that at all. Well, I'll tell you, Wilson and Brunette the wide receivers are doing some great blocking on the outside and uh, makes a big difference. With that penalty, the ball is now spotted on the 26 yard line. It's gonna be first down and about 20. Actually, it's uh, gonna be first and about 22. We'll make it 20. Fake hand off to Smith and right through the middle with the sack is Brandon Lardnoise. You mentioned his name. Gets well, a sack. What I don't like, Marty, is they've been there a couple times, which means people are not doing their job up front. We've seen a couple times where they've gotten close, but you know what they're doing is basically risking it, and if South can 
make the big play they can. That time it worked in reverse because that time West made the big play and we got uh, loss of seven on that play. Yeah. Third down and 27. It's only second down, Marty. Second down. Yeah, because the hole was on first. Fake to Smith. He's got a receiver down the field. Brunette beat the defense, but the pass is a little too deep. Well, I think Kabayer thought about the last play. Pressure was on him a little bit. Needed to get a little more air on that. Both receivers, Wilson and Brunette, were open. Curtis Wilson, of course, is Marty is the brother of the so many Wilsons that they've had here at North, or excuse me, at South High. Jacob Bannock is the uh, fullback. He's not in there on this play. Four wide receivers, two left and right. Smith along with Kabai in the backfield. West on the blitz. And uh, Kabai has to uh, take it himself. Too much pressure and West stops him. It's going to be third down. All because of a penalty, Marty. Yeah, really. Uh, Greg Schwartz and I talked about that last last week. About last year, it seemed that penalties were a... Uh, Something that hurt South quite a bit. Brunette's going to be the punter here. Fourth down. Ball spotted on the 33. Brunette, nice snap, steps up and kicks it. A uh, good bounce. South is going to down it inside the five yard line. So they pin West back. Good job by uh, Brunette. West coming out on the field, they're gonna take over. It'll be first and 10, the ball is spotted at the four yard line. 96 yards away. Wide receivers uh, left and right. 23, Billy Sider in the backfield. Nowhere. I think that was uh, Webster, not a keeper, is that right? Aaron Shebley all over that play. Number 77, 200 pound junior. No gain. It's gonna be second down and 10. West playing it conservative on that first play, Chris. Let's see what they do here. Lehman is wide to the right. South looking to blitz, they come up the middle hard and they stack it, they get him for a loss. Let's see who the ball carrier is. Yeah, Matt Hendricks was up there. Number 37 on the carry, Kenny Arbor. And uh, he loses a yard, it's gonna be third down and 11. I know I gave Matt Hendricks the credit there, but let's give about six Red Wings the credit on that tackle. Bassett is one of the wide outs. Webster under center. He drops back, quick pitch. He's got the receiver beat. Nice defense out there by Charlie Rissey. He recovered to uh, knock the pass away. Pardon me, that was Colin Johnson. Johnson on the play. Ooh, didn't it look like he had him beat there for a second? Had him beat <laughs> and a little bit of contact there. Um. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got uh, Smith back deep. Good snap, kick is away. Not a very good kick. Ball is going to go out of bounds right at the 28-yard line. South is going to have great field position. 6.08 remaining in the first quarter. No score. First uh, conference football game of the season. are going to play eight conference games this year. Uh, South won the non-conference against Crosstown Rival North last week, 32 to 12, 33 to 12. Magic number is four. You need four to qualify for your playoffs. Here we go. First and 10, Smith is the deep back. 
Hand off to Smith. No nope. fake. Kabai firing down the field. He's got his receiver. Wilson slips by one tackler, slips by another. He's going to go into the end down. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. What a move by Curtis Wilson. Well, we got to see that one again, Scott. Well, it all started with the Kabai fake here. Look at this. Yeah, they got them all right on the in. hip. One on one coverage. Here's Wilson with the whoop, whoop, and six points. Nice catch and run by Curtis Wilson. Went for 28 yards. Peter Moore. Kick is blocked. They had all sorts of trouble with that last week too, Marty. Oh well, TD, South leads it with 5.56 remaining in the first quarter, six to nothing. If you're not helping after school programs, you're really helping to take them away. That wasn't very nice. After school programs, wouldn't you rather be helping? Back at South High School, getting ready to kick off is Matt Hendricks. Uh, Peter Moore's extra point was blocked. It looked like the pressure came right up the middle, Chris. And you mentioned he had trouble with that last week. You know, they gotta get that straightened out too. Yeah, there's been some pressure by West, but South's countered with, you know, going to the outside and there, a good ball fake. Kickoff, uh, Lehman is going to pick it up at the 15. He's up to the 25, slips by one tackler before he's knocked down at about the 31 or 32 yard line. First and 10 West. Well, they have a little room to operate now, Chris. They did have to play it somewhat conservative on that last series of downs when they're back inside their uh, five yard line. Well that and their uh, punting game's no good. 21 yards and 25 yards, that doesn't help. Oh boy. And we're not talking about a gale force win today as the flags are not moving. Webster in the shotgun. Alongside him is uh, Billy Sider, number 23. Three wi four wide receivers for West. Two to the left, two to the right. Fake handoff. Webster taking it up the middle. Picks up a few yards. He's going to get knocked down at about the 35 or 36 yard line. Hendricks there. Tim Schrader there. Pick up a five yards. Again, uh, Webster in the shotgun. This time we have three wide receivers off to the right. Webster keeping it. Pretty good defense that time by South. They're gonna stop him short of the 40 yard line. I think what they're trying to do is spread South out a little bit to create some running lanes. But right now, I think South's doing a pretty good job on that uh, Run defense. Third down and eight. All shotgun plays, Chris. This time they have three wide receivers off to the right again. Sider along with Webster. It's third down and about three. Pretty good pressure. Long pass. Colin Johnson on the defense. Charlie Rissey that time, number nine. They went to Lardnoy that time. In and out of his hands. Well, they're not, not bashful about going deep, are they? No, I was just going to say, you know, the short game's not so bad either when you only need uh, four or five yards there. But uh, as a result, it's going to be the third West punt. And we're uh, the 422 mark of the first quarter. Well, this time it looks like uh, Rissy is back deep. Nice snap. Kick is away. Colin Johnson, that is, number eight. 
and he's knocked down. Not much of a return there. Pretty good coverage by West. South will take over inside the 25 yard line. A little better punt that time, Marty. 36 yards. Third time South had the ball. Timeout on the field. Officials timeout. And uh, we'll take a short break and be right back with uh, 4-11 remaining in the first quarter. South on top, six to nothing. Hey, new guy, Shovel, right? Yeah, Rake, and I'm not exactly new. I've seen some action. Yeah, what's your story? Hey, my last gig, I nearly got electrocuted, almost drowned. That guy never called 811 to see if it was safe to dig. Our guy calls every time he digs. It's quick and easy. Any tool can do it. Calling 811 gets your underground utility lines marked for free. It makes every project safer for everyone. Hey, safe digging is no accident. Always call 811 before you dig. Back at South High School, and uh, every so often, Chris, the officials will call an official's timeout, allow the teams to go to the uh, sidelines and, and get a drink, and there you can see the official gets a drink, too. Nothing wrong with that. Keep the kids hydrated. There you see Chris Korf. He's in charge of the offense. Coach Renzelman behind him. He's basically in charge of special teams. And uh, Chris Hine. Does his favorite thing, calling the defense. But right now it's the offensive's turn. And uh, we got two wide receivers off to the left. Ray Smith, the deep back. Kabai under center, fake handoff. Kabai keeps it, lunges forward to the 25 yard line, picks up one yard. That play just didn't seem like it was gonna go anywhere, Marty, just kind of stalled. No rain this week, Marty. Last week we had a little bit of rain. He went across the field. I mean, kind of <laughs> parallel to the field. Three wide receivers off to the right. Quick pitch out right through the hands of the receiver, Grant Renzelman. It's going to make it uh, third down and nine. Renzelman had a couple nice catches a week ago. That one he didn't catch. Kabai one for three so far. That one completion was a 28 yard touchdown pass to uh, Curtis Wilson. He was on fire last week, Kabai. Smith alone set back, Kabai under center. Straight back, good protection. Looking, looking, now he dances out, he's running. Smith. Had to give up on the block, otherwise it would have been a clip, and Kabai is going to be just short of the first down as he scrambles out for about eight yards. It'll be fourth down and one. South's so going to punt here. Good block, you're right, Marty, by Ray Smith there. Kabai stretched for the first down, but just couldn't get it. West looking to come right up the middle on this uh, punt attempt. And 318 remaining in the first quarter. We get a timeout by South. I think they recognize they were in trouble. Well, I think they were going to try to draw them offside on the uh, quick snap, but it didn't work. And time was whittling down there. So uh, Coach Hine called a uh, timeout. Next week, both Sheboygan teams are on the road, Marty. North goes to Pulaski, South goes to Southwest, as, as I mentioned in the opener, beat uh, Notre Dame. I wish I had figured that schedule a little better, you know, where one team is home and one team is away. Tonight, for instance, they're both at home. Yeah, and in a couple weeks, they're both, they're both, they spend a lot of time together. I There's a lot to be, a lot to be said about this new league, and I'll tell you what. It's not all good. There's not a lot of, there's a lot of things that they're still trying to iron out, but these are adults and making decisions, and they're making a lot of poor, especially in their scheduling. 
Uh, we could talk about baseball sometime. They got one team <laughs> playing six home I games and, and ten on the road. <laughs> and that's just not right. And North South, too, has got problems, and it's not good. Oh, oh it's a quick snap. Here? They tried, I think, to get the uh, quick snap in the first down. It didn't work. West was on to him. Unless it was a fumbled snap. No, it was a quick, quick snap. But you know what? It's going to be a measurement. You know what? That's one of those where if it works, it's really good. If it doesn't work, you get good position to West. Who got the ball? Colin Johnson? He may get it. He, oh, he doesn't got it. We'll give the carry to Colin Johnson, although we're not sure that he was the man. But it goes for no gain, and it's going to be first and 10 west inside the 35-yard line at the 34. Shotgun again. Webster with uh, Sider in the backfield. Inside handoff, Sider bounces it to the outside. A good cover up defense by South. They knock him for a yard loss and there's a fumble and South gets it back. On the bottom of the pile with the ball, number 44, Matt Hendricks. Was that Rissy or was that Schrader that made that play there? Or was it Colin Johnson? Somebody, one of those uh, D-back guys uh, knocked that ball away. I think it was Charlie Rissy there. Let's watch it here on the replay. Boom. Was that number seven? No. It's 77? Six or nine that made the initial hit. South has it. Hand off to Smith. He bounces to the outside trying to get the corner. Uh, West playing great defense on that play. Stop Smith. On the first down play. Well, they Smith actually lost the yardage, Chris. Yeah. West did a nice job there of uh, doing a little bit of better job on that contain. South could have two scores. Uh, holding penalty cost Smith the first touchdown. Uh, last time the uh, drive basically went nowhere. Four wide receivers for South Kabai in the shotgun. Pitch out to Smith, trying to get the corner. Slips by one tackler and then he's knocked down at about the 47 yard line, 37 yard line. So not much of a gain there. Give West credit there. I mean, they are getting into the backfield there and you know, good stiff arm there by Smith to get some yardage, but you know, they're, they're not holding back. They're right back there in the backfield and Goodbye and Smith have uh, got some, some trouble. Third down, about seven yards to go, a long seven. Again, South spreading the field. Goodbye straight back, looking, steps up and fires right into the hands of the captain. And he slips by one tackle. He's got, oh, what a block throwing it. In the middle of the field, and then he's knocked down at about the two-yard line by Ray Smith. But LeCaptain, boy, that ball was thrown right to him, Chris. Yeah, and he did a nice job. You could tell he's a receiver as well. Excuse me. And uh, you're right, there was a nice block. Here you'll see the replay. Kabai threw right into the, basically, I think it was a zone coverage. Watch this block down around the 10-yard line or so. It's a good run. It's a good block there, and I'll watch right here. Boom. Number three. On number 77, I yeah, think it was. Lardnoy. West has it first and goal at the two-yard line. Webster on a keeper gets it down near the end zone. I don't think he's in. Webster picks up a yard. Going to make it second and goal from the one. This is West's fifth time with the ball. Last week, in the second and the third quarter, North and South each had it like twice. <laughs> Rolling down under a minute now. The up back is Arbor, Sider the deep back. Webster the quarterback and he keeps it. And did he get in? 
Ah, come on, you officials. Yeah, it's a touchdown. The one guy that's on the far side doesn't do anything. He did. He's got to be able to see that. Well, West with 41 seconds remaining in the first quarter ties up the score at six. And they're going to go for the uh, extra point. Their kicker is uh, Brandon Lardnoy's number three. The holder is Webster, the quarterback. So keep an eye out for that guy. Snap and the set, the kick is up and it hits the side upright and bounces not good. So with 40 sec 41 seconds remaining in the first quarter, we're tied at six. We'll be right back. The dream of education beyond high school, the cost can put it out of reach. There is help. We are federal student aid, part of the U.S. Department of Education. Each year we award $80 billion to all eligible students and families. Learn more at federalstudentaid.ed.gov. Don't get left behind. The most costly education is the one not begun. Federal Student Aid. Start here. Go further. Back at South High School where a Kabai interception and a nice return by uh, John LeCaptain down to the two yard line netted a touchdown for West two plays later. Uh, both teams having trouble with the extra points. Chris, were tied at six. Last week was a mystery on extra points too. Kicking off is uh, number 87, Marcus Reynolds. Ball is uh, kicked down deep, brunette. Is out of bounds at about the 28 yard line. It's gonna be first and 10 for South. Same cast of characters out there. Brunette, Lucas, uh, Curtis Wilson, Kabai at quarterback. Those were your wide receivers. Kabai at quarterback, the up back is uh, Jacob Bannock, number 40, and the deep back is Ray Smith. Smith with 38, 38 yards and four carries so far. Had a couple of sparkling runs in the early in the quarter with a 19 and a 16 yard run. West has uh, slowed him down since. Fake handoff, Kabai, oh he's wide open. Fake the inside handoff and broke along the right side, and he's going to go for the touchdown. John Kabai. Woo! Travis Brunette on the key block. Again. Talk about lightning striking. Holy mackerel. Watch the block on the outside. Right there, Brunette, 14. Boom. Just a little bit of a hit. Knocked the uh, defensive back off his stride, and uh, Kabai races in. 72 yards. There you go, Chris Hine, he's happy. High snap, kick by Moore is through the uprights, it's good. With 24 seconds remaining in the quarter, South on top, 13 to six. That 72 yard run, Chris uh, John Kabai now has 94 yards rushing in six carries. That one helped. That one helped the <laughs> average, yes. Averaging just about 15 yards. 
a carry, a little over. Hendricks, little line drive kick. It's taken by the captain. Comes right up the middle of the field where he's hit and dropped at the 31 yard line. Eighteen seconds remaining in the first quarter. West will have it first and ten. Ball is spotted at the thirty-two. Webster's in at uh, quarterback again. West spreading the field. Two wide receivers left and right. Webster in the shotgun. Handoff inside. On the carry is number 12, Bo Rogenbauer. Clock running down. That'll be the last play of the quarter. Rogenbauer gets the ball out to about the 37 yard line. Give him a gain of five. And uh, that's the quarter at the end of one quarter of play. South on top, 13 to six. Some dogs fetch and roll over. Some dogs take you to Spain and shopping for refrigerators. Help you get through grad school. Start your own business. Go on hikes in the Grand Canyon. Some dogs you trust with your life every day. Being partners with a guide dog is having the freedom to do what you want in life. Nothing more, nothing less. And with your help, nothing need ever change that. Call 1-888-884-DOGS or visit guidedogs.com. I recycle and refurbish old computers to help preserve our environment. I got involved. I boosted tourism in my farm community by painting 55 barn quilts. I got involved. I enjoy gardening and love delivering a fresh supply of produce and flowers to a local shelter. I got involved. Young volunteers have a winning spirit that we think is worth celebrating. Middle and high school students, ask your school principal about applying for a Prudential Spirit of Community Award. Volunteer. All right, getting ready to start second quarter action. Second down and five for West. Inside handoff to Rogenbauer, trying to take it to the outside. He's stacked up after maybe a one yard gain. I got some early scores here, Marty. Uh, Dan Stengel from North is gonna try to call every once in a while. Mantwalk 19, Pulaski zero in the first. To Pierce seven, Southwest zero. Ashwabanon 18 to nothing uh, over Sheboygan North. North missed a 37 yard field goal there early in the second quarter. Here it's 13 to six, in favor of the Red Wings. Third down and four. Webster taking the center snap, drops straight back. Heavy pressure by Webster, he gets by number 41 for South, Shane Fultz, and uh, gets it out near first down yardage. We're gonna have to wait for the spot by the officials. Update from North, Noel Deppies intercepted a ball, took it back to the one. North is now only down 18 to six or 18 to seven, so they scored. What are they gonna do here, Marty? Kick it away, if they're smart. They don't Ball's know at do. the 41, a pick up a three. It's gonna make it fourth down and one, and we have a timeout on the field. Is it a long one? Is it, She looks like a short one there, Marty. I don't know, you know. Yeah, you're right, it is. When so. you're Green Bay West and uh, you don't win too many games. Be interesting to see what they do here. Next week, TV8 will be at uh, Kohler where Howard's Grove and the Tigers visit Sheboygan Lutheran Kohler. Sheboygan Lutheran Kohler got a victory last week. And they were uh, actually ranked in the state, uh, or got some votes for ranking, if I looked at that correctly. I was surprised by that, but uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, 
Howard's Grove has uh, picked the do pretty good. Now, they didn't do very good their first week, but... Uh, they play some, some pretty heavyweights. Uh, All right. Not punting. Or are they? Nope. Tight line. One wide receiver. Webster. Takes on a quarterback keeper. And a lunge forward. I believe he got it at the end there, Chris. We'll have yeah. to wait and see. They had him stood up for a second, and then all of a sudden the line just lunged forward. Oh, we'll have to see if he got enough for the first down. Oh, he didn't get a good spot, Marty. But they're saying first down. Webster picks up the one yard that was needed and gets the first down. It's first and ten. Yeah, I think Howard played Poinette last week, and Poinette is a poros. <laughs> they're pretty good. They're normally pretty good. That was a bold move there. Yes, it was, and it paid off. Uh, a good move by uh, West in the offensive line. They got the movement they needed. Well, they got it down on the goal line, too, Chris. A lot of time by West. Handoff. Sider, I believe that was, or was it Rogenbauer? Rogenbauer on the carry. Jeff. Nothing for him. Zelko, 42. I'm really surprised that West isn't throwing the ball a little bit. They got, you know, those three receivers and all that shotgun stuff, but uh, really doing a lot of their business. Loss of four by Rogenbauer makes it second down at 14. They might be throwing now, Chris. A lot of business on the ground, and it's not doing so well. Keeping Ray Smith on the sidelines here with a, yeah. another five-minute drive here. Lard noise wide to the right. A slot receiver on his side. Hendricks coming hard on the outside, but Webster takes it up the middle. We get a flag in the middle. Looks like we're going to have a holding call on West. I think that was Zelko again. Here you see the fake. Hendricks goes up the middle, misses, and then a cool, oh, nice hit. Him yeah, and Brent Jacobs was right there. Zelko 42. Brent Jacobs 30. is number 34. They're talking to South. What are they going to do here? You got third and a mile, or you can have second and a, and a mile and a half. Holding call on West is declined. No gain by Webster on the keeper. That makes it third down and 14. Ball still on the 38 yard line. Single coverage out here, Marty. Four wide receivers. They've really spread the field. They're going to give up the short one, but not the big one. Zelko coming off the middle. Good defensive play out there. By number 21 for South, Taylor Billman. Good defense there. Linebackers drop back in coverage. Jacobs is kind of the spy there. And... Uh, you're right, good defense there by South and going to force the fourth West punt here with 9.29 left in the second quarter. That was Zelko 42 off the corner, but uh, got a pretty good shove. Couldn't make the play. Kick is away. Smith lets it bounce, and this time it takes a good bounce for West inside the 30. Down to about the 28 yard line. Pretty good punt that time for West. South will have it, first and 10. They lead it 13 to six. We're at the 9-18 mark until halftime. South trying to start the season two and all. They won last week at against North, 33 to 12. And uh, this is a big one, Chris, because this is the opening of the conference season. Ray Smith, the deep back, and all kinds of flags on the field. <laughs> Penalty is on West, unsportsmanlike conduct. Probably because of a, maybe a piece of equipment or something, or something to that effect. Tell you what, uh, unofficially West has had the ball about 15 minutes of the 20. 
but they find themselves trailing in the ball game. First and five. Fake handoff to Smith. Deep down the middle. Brunette passes incomplete. A little bit off the mark. The defender back there was Scott Alvey, number 13. Not a bad call there, Chris. You know, keep them thinking. And it's only second and five, so it's not a real big deal. There you see that pass just a little bit off the mark. Good arm roll by Kabai. He can wing it. Plays a little baseball in the spring for Coach yep. Place. And a Derek Kiefer wide to the right. First time we've called his name. Hand off to Smith off tackle, trying to bounce it to the outside. He's knocked down at about the 37. I think he's going to be just short of the first down. Going to say Coach Clayson and his baseball squad had an outstanding season last year. Consistently ranked in the uh, polls for the state. And uh, they had one nice squad. Third down and one. Inside handoff to the fullback, and he barrels forward for the first down. Manic gets a carry. And he he's a happy man, too. He got about, oh, I'd say five or six carries a week ago. Does his job. Pickup of two yards for Bannock. Ball just short of the 40. We'll call it the 39. So Bannock with a two-yard pickup and a first down. Who wide receiver out here, number 99. Kyle Reuter. Jake Reuter. Or Jake Reuter. <laughs> Sorry about that, Jake. Calling your Bye on name. the keeper, and then we get a penalty flag fly in. I think it was a face mask on Kabai. So West will have a penalty tacked on to that play. Penalty starting to mount. Yes, they are. Fifteen yard or two. A lot of quiet people in the stands again. Point number four. Get that crowd into the game here. They're not used to the nice weather. <laughs> First down for South. They lead it 13 to 6. Eight, just about eight minutes remaining until halftime. The clock rolling at uh, 8.03, 8.02, 8.01. Bannock the up back. Smith the deep back. We have wide receivers left and right. Brunette off to the right. Second back through is Smith. He breaks through the line of scrimmage. He's going to go to the 20, to the 10. Touchdown, Sheboygan South. Ray Smith just bolted off tackle. Virtually untouched and went in. 45-yard run. I was just thinking they're one play away from breaking this one open, and that was Watch the had. blocking in the front. Second back through. Bannock through a nice block. There's Brunette again. Let's see if they can get the extra point again. Moore in there. His kick is up and good. The holder is Jacob Bristol. So with 7.45 remaining, south on top, 20 to 6. Explore her grandeur. Appreciate her beauty. Protect her for tomorrow. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries. Call 877-2-RECYCLE or visit us online at calltorecycle.org. Back at South High School, Red Wings, a uh, couple of long plays here, Chris. A 28-yard touchdown run, a 74-yard touchdown, or 28-yard touchdown pass, 74-yard run by Kabai, and now a 45-yarder by Smith. Well, I was just saying, West is controlling the time of possession, but they're not controlling the big plays, and that's what West is, excuse me, South is doing. 
Actually, that goodbye run was 72 yards. Picked up at about the 17-yard line. Lehman struggling forward before he's knocked down at about the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 10 west. And uh, we mentioned it in the opening, Chris. Uh, they give up a lot of yards. Yeah, they do. And the big play, there's been three big plays, and they've all resulted in scores. As I said, West controlling time of possession, but they're not controlling the scoreboard or the yards. First and 10, ball on the 34. Webster in the shotgun. He's got three wide receivers off to the left. They'd like to spread the field. Quick out, catch is made by Eric Bassett. And he gets it out to about the 37 yard line. Short gain. Well, they had two receivers go across the middle and Webster decided to hit the out man there. Short gain, but again, they've relied so much on the run. Uh, I think using the pass a little bit, sprinkling that in there might open that run a little bit against that stingy south defense. Second down and seven. Again, three wide, three wide receivers off to the left. And off to Rogan Bauer up the middle. He's tripped up and knocked down. Falls forward to about the 40, but I think they're going to mark it back near the 39. You're right there, Marty. Be third down. Third so and pick five. Up a, yeah, only two yards on that play. Three wide receivers off to the right this time. The wide man is Le Captain, number one. He's the guy you got to keep an eye on. Quick snap. Zelko comes up the middle, but or off to the side, but can't get him. And then uh, Webster is knocked down at about the 39-yard line. Good pass defense and a good rush by South that time. I think they need a different play because that's not getting it done. Fourth down and five. It's okay to use that play after you've thrown the ball, thrown the ball, thrown the ball, but they're not fooling anybody with well, that one. I was going to say their running game has not done much and uh, it allows Salt to really tee off on the pass rush. And they're one score away from really getting this very comfortable. Kick is away by Webster. Smith is going to let it bounce and it goes out of bounds at about the 27 or 28 yard line. Let's make it the 27. Be first and 10 south. And uh, they've got it again. They have the lead, 20 to 6. There's 5.30 remaining until halftime. So plenty of time to uh, march it down the field. And we get a timeout. Officials timeout. Officials timeout. Let's get a drink of water. I think I'll have some of this... Uh, Orange Gatorade. Hey, how about that uh, concession stand again here at South High? I enjoyed my two cheeseburgers. If we would have had time, I would have had a third one. No question. We had time. Uh, it was only <laughs> 11 minutes on the clock. Yeah, but I, you could have eaten it walking out to the track. You've done <laughs> that before. <laughs> Best concession stand in the valley, right? Yeah, I think so. It's not the valley anymore, though. <laughs> It's Good. the classic. What a name. Jeez. Here's another thing they screwed up. <laughs> Didn't they get anything right? Well, I know they had some different ideas and thoughts about that, too. I saw some of them, and I... I have some ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's going to well, take a, I had a, a chance. To, I ain't going to mention the, which head coach, but I talked to one at, at our meeting on uh, Wednesday. School district had their big meeting. You know, we started the school year, and... Uh, he said there are some athletic directors in this new conference that just are not uh, very cooperative, and that's part of the problem. Yep. But that's a whole nother story. Back to football. Hand off to Smith, off tackle on the left side. He bolts. He's still on his feet. He's bouncing out to the outside to the 40, 45, and knocked out of bounds at midfield. What a run by Ray Smith. It looked like he was stopped in the middle of the line, and then he bounced it out. What a play, Ray. There you see it, oh. the delayed part there. And 
We'll call at the 50 yard line. A 13 yard, pardon me, a 23 yard gain. He's having a big quarter, Chris. First yeah. down and 10. Yeah, he hadn't got a lot of touches before. I was a little worried, but. Uh, 72 yards and three carries. Since then. Yeah, you're right, and that's part of the. Panic right up the middle, he busts loose. He's down to the 35 before he's knocked down. Let me, let me carry the bread for a while, he says. Really, I was gonna say that's part of the thing. You know, sometimes your best defense is your offense, you know, if you can control the ball. And West did a pretty good job of that, but uh, they're not able to cut off, cut off the big play. Pickup of about 15 yards on that play. It's first down and 10, ball on the 35. Smith takes it through the middle, he bounces to the outside, steps through a tackle, he's at the 15, the 10, the five, and into the end zone, touchdown. Well, he is very quick through the hole, Chris, that's the key. Once he hits the hole, he's gonna bounce it to the outside and that's what you gotta cut off. 13, six, 13 to six, 13 to six, all of a sudden, chance watch to him, make it 27 Watch him to bounce six. to the outside, well, here we go. Hits through the hole to the outside. And a good no block that time by Brunette to keep from getting a clipping penalty. Extra point while we were away is good. And uh, with 4.53 remaining until halftime, South with a commanding lead, 27 to six. scored in on a 12 second drive, a 24 second drive, a minute 53 drive, and a 37 second drive. <laughs> <laughs> so in less than three minutes, they've scored uh, all, their, all, their, all their touchdown drives were done that way. 107 yards and four carries for Smith in the second quarter. In the first quarter, he had uh, 38 yards and four carries. Kickoff return by West is uh, stopped at about the 30 yard line, but we do have a flag on the field. Lehman on the return. It's gonna be first and 10 West. Sort out the penalty. It's on West to hold, so we're going to take it all the way back to the 20 yard line. Well, the giddy up in West's shoes are somewhat gone. The South has really taken over here in the uh, second quarter. Inside handoff to a uh, Cider. Oh, pardon me, a fake handoff to him. Webster kept it. And not much going there. Going to be second down. Actually lost yardage. Be a loss of one, second and 11. West spreading the field with three wide receivers. Webster takes a direct snap, fires it over the middle, but it's way short of the intended receiver. Brandon Lardnoise is gonna make a third down and 11. Oh boy. You get a stop here if you're, you're south and you're getting the ball again. No time left in the half. We may have a moving clock in the second half at the pace we're going here. 
Not that there's anything wrong with that if you're no. self high. Oh, no, no. Same setup for West, three wide receivers, two blockers in the backfield to help, help with the uh, rush by South. Webster steps up right over the middle, almost intercepted. Having a shot at it was Colin Johnson, number eight. He had one last week. Charlie Rissy had two. And just like that, punt number six for West and a half. Webster is one for four in the quarter, a three yard completion. Uh, so the passing game has not been effective. They had uh, some success last week with that, but uh, not tonight. Kick is away. But, well, Smith not making much of an effort to go after those balls. It goes out of bounds. Pretty nice punt that time at about the 38 yard line. South will have it first and 10. 3.51 remaining, and uh, with the quickness that they score their touchdowns, that's plenty of time. That's right. We can get two more. Uh, they're calling it the 37, so I guess we will too. Somewhere between the 37 and the 38. Trips to the right for South. Smith alone set back. Kabai under center. Stretch play to Smith, trying to get around the corner. Webster giving chase. And he's knocked out of bounds by Lehman. And almost uh, could have been a piling on penalty, but no flags. Yes, they got the flags, Marty. They got the flag. A little frustration. Ryan Webster, a little late. Tack on uh, 15 more. Five yard gain by Smith gives him 112 yards in the quarter. Actually good defense that time. I'll tell you, Webster really hustled his butt off to get over there. Lehman ended up making the play, but then it was Webster that committed the foul. Ball is down into West Territory at the 43. Ray Smith alone set back. Three wide receivers off to the right. And uh, Curtis Wilson alone wide receiver off to the other side. Reverse and knocked down was Grant Renzelman. Smelling that out was Brandon Lardnoise. I know it doesn't look good, but they haven't shown it. I think it's a good play. I know it didn't, wasn't successful, but uh, I'll tell you what, it's, it's a nice little wrinkle in there. West. Did a nice job there defending it, but uh, as much as it looked like a negative play, I thought that was a positive idea. Second down and 19, loss of nine on the play. Inside handoff to Smith, he goes nowhere. Good defense that time. Number 55 in there was Derek Last. Also in on the stop was Lardnoise, number three. Penalty flag. I think that's gonna be on South. Looked like it was right in the middle where holding is normally called. Ryan Webster, the uh, junior quarterback, D-back, uh, still over Ray Smith there. I'll tell you what, Mr. Webster, you better show a little more on the field than one tackle because your team's getting beat by 21 points and Ray Smith's running all over you guys and you've done nothing on offense. Penalty was declined, a good call by West. It's third down and 19. Again, South spreading the field with four wide receivers. Smith the lone setback with Kabai. Steps up, throw a block. Deep to Wilson, he's got it at the 20. The 10, he's gonna go into the end zone, touchdown. Not good pass defense by West. Going right over the top, Kabai to Wilson for right a 52 yard scoring play. Right over Richard Lehman too, one of their best athletes. What a strike there by Kabai to Wilson again. Another big play, holy cow. 
Well, that took a minute 17, though, Marty. Kick by Moore is good. And with 2.34 remaining until halftime, it's 34 to 6. Sure, my neighbors Gene and Louise, they may be superheroes with superpowers, but that doesn't make them so super at saving energy and money. Honey! I may not be able to harness the power of the elements, but I save significant cash and help the environment with appliances, electronics, and windows featuring the Energy Star label. So discover your own energy saving superpowers. Go to ASE.org slash consumers. Mom, Dad's making fun too again. Back at South High School where uh, big plays are the order of the day and uh, from what I read in the paper about that North-South game, uh, South rattled off some big plays there too. Big plays is right and just how quick they're striking. Puts a lot of pressure on the defense so they're not controlling the ball. Line drive kick. Picked up at about the 15 or 16 yard line. And making the return running hard is uh, John LeCaptain. And he's down at about the 34-yard line. It'll be first and 10 west. Hanky on the field. Yeah, I see that. Didn't catch what the call was, Chris. It's going to be first it was and on 10. south. Ball's at Five the 39-yard yard line. Maybe an offside. Cider, I believe, is the deep back. Uh, they hand it off to the up back, number 36, Greg Holly. Attention, and, uh, attention, Green Bay West. It's not working. Second down, no gain on the play. Even the West coaching staff and coaches have left the building. Give them a gain of one. Ball is spotted on the 40-yard line. Wide receivers left and right, two back set. Webster straight back, looking. Fires deep down the middle. Nice leaping attempt by number 20, Richard Lehman, but he can't come down with it. The pass is incomplete. Green Bay West. Well, there's a penalty going to be on Green Bay West. So far, Webster is one for five this quarter. Back in the first quarter he was 0 for 2 so that makes him 1 for 7 in the half. Pass, uh, pen the penalty was declined. Makes it third down and 9. Marcus Reynolds is out to the left side as a wide out. Webster almost fumbled it. Hands it off to the second back. That was uh, Billy Sider. Sider with a short gain. It's going to be fourth down. 127 remaining until halftime, and now we get a timeout. It's 34 to 6, south on top. The world has changed a lot since 1970. That's when Congress created the Securities Investor Protection Corporation, SIPC. For 37 years, we've remained focused on one thing, helping investors in the unlikely event that their brokerage firm encounters difficulties. We've helped more than 600,000 investors recover over $14 billion in assets. We're the Securities Investor Protection Corporation. There for you then, here for you now. Back at South High School, where uh, they lead it 34 to six and uh, my jaw is almost uh, dropping here. You know, I could pick it up off the floor, the big plays that they've made. And uh, you know, I obviously didn't get a chance to see uh, Smith last week, but uh, 
really impressed with the way he plays, and uh, I've even seen him step up and throw a block once. <laughs> yeah, he's made a couple good blocks. and uh, I wish he was a little more aggressive on his punt returns, but uh, here he there. goes. He's got it at the 30. He's got 40, a chance. And out of bounds. Devin Hester, I mean uh, Ray Smith. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of punts for the team in purple. First down and 10. Ball is spotted at the 44 yard line. 119 remaining. Curious to see what South decides to do here. They've scored, like I said before, in 12 seconds, 24 seconds, 37 seconds, a minute 17. The longest has been a minute 53. They so could run it out and uh, still score a touchdown. Yep. <laughs> Keep it on the ground. Smith on a nice block. Protecting Kabai and the pass is complete. Out to number two, Grant Renzelman. They're gonna be Watch hurrying Watch Smith here. step up and throw a block right there. Good job, Ray Smith. South hurrying with about a minute left here, Marty. Here we go. Second down and seven. Kabai keeps it and battles forward inside West Territory to about the 49, I would say. Kabai picks up a couple on that play, makes it third down and five. 43 seconds remaining. That long pass is incomplete. Rushing to try to get the playoff, and they did, but uh, it goes incomplete. That's going to make it fourth down, and the punting unit coming on. Just a second punt for South. Punts, punt, uh, the, the, the. South punted on their first possession. They've lost one. Uh, they had turnover on downs, and they had one interception in the first quarter. Since then, it's been touchdown, 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 touchdown. Brunette back. Good snap. Kick is away. And letting it bounce is that uh, punt returner, Lehman, and it takes a south bounce down inside the 15-yard line to near the 10-yard line, actually. There's 28 seconds remaining. First and 10 for the West Wildcats. What is that ball on the 12? Well, let's see what they do. Last time they were down inside the five yard line and played it very conservative, but uh, that's when it was still a game. Webster, back deep. Out pattern, the catch is made. What a good tackle out there by uh, number nine, Charlie Rissey. Yep. Clock running. West gonna call timeout. Yes, they are. Timeout West. Did you catch who that uh, receiver was, Chris? Yep. But you're not telling me. It was number four. Ian Estano. That's what I thought it was too, but then I uh, looked out there and I didn't see number four, so I wasn't sure. Thirteen seconds remaining until halftime. South on top, 34 to six. Mike Martin along with Chris Wright bringing you the ball game today. It's a long first half, but I have a feeling. Eric Wiesman on the field running that camera. Steve Reiner up on top. Scott Miloff spinning the dials in the truck, doing a great job on the replays. There you see it. Here he's letting us know who caught the pass. Yeah, we were right. It was number four. Thanks, Scott. I have a feeling the second I half. I didn't trust Chris either. <laughs> I have a feeling the second half won't be as long. Webster steps up under pressure. Ball is picked. Oh, almost picked off. <laughs> Two guys for South had a shot at it. Got to put that stick on those gloves, boys. Yeah, really. Charlie Rissey 
was one of the guys had a shot. I have a suggestion for West in the second half. They need to use their fullback number 36, Greg Holly. 250 pound fullback. The kid never touched the ball yet. One time. He had one carry, Chris. Did he? Yeah. He's got to touch it more. This is it. Hail Mary. Webster deep. He's got his receiver. That'll be the half. Barring a penalty. Making the catch was Brandon Lardnoise, and that's the half. South on top, 34 to 6, in what has been an outstanding offensive and defensive performance by the Red Wings. Teenage boy, you want to have sex? Think, 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 man. Think about this. It's not just you. Think about the other people involved. Think about the girl, her family, her thoughts, her future. You know, she has goals. What about the respect for the values that your parents gave you? What about the little kids in your neighborhood who happen to look up to you? Think about that before you take that step. Think about yourself. Think about the things you want to do. Don't you have goals? How about thinking ahead? Just think. And we. Your heart rate's a little fast. Cause of death, acute myocardial infarction. Have you tried a weight loss program? Likely caused by type 2 diabetes and heart disease. Still smoking? Victim's lungs are black and scarred. You can get a physical exam now. Or you can get one later. Talk to your doctor about a physical. Learn how to lower your risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease and live a healthier life. Cordless power tools and rechargeable batteries help you do projects all over the house. Inside, outside, they let you work anywhere. But did you know that by recycling old rechargeable batteries, you can help protect the environment? It's true. When they no longer hold a charge and need to be replaced, old rechargeable batteries should be recycled. It's easy and it's free. Recycle your old rechargeable batteries wherever you buy cordless power tools. 
Go to calltorecycle.org to find a collection site near you. While all insurance companies should provide the foundation for financial protection, unfortunately, some do not. There are fake insurance companies that promise peace of mind when trouble strikes, but actually fall apart like a house of cards when it's time to pay a claim. I'm Walter Bell, president of the National Association of Insurance Commissioners. Before signing a policy, I urge you to stop, call, and confirm with your state insurance department to be sure you're dealing with a licensed company or go to NEIC.org. What do you want? Just rock and roll. What? Just something simple. It says rock and roll. Are you serious? Yeah, man. I love rock and roll. Okay, dude. Some mistakes in life are permanent. Like hearing loss. To learn how to protect your hearing, visit asha.org. Just about ready to wrap up halftime. We've got some uh, numbers from the first half. South had uh, 346 total yards, 263 on the ground in only 20 carries, and 83 through the air. Kabai was three for seven with one interception, but he, out of those three completions, two of them went for touchdowns. Uh, Smith had nine carries for 150 yards, two touchdowns, and Kabai had eight carries for 96 yards and a touchdown. West had 45 total yards in the first half. They had 26 on the ground and 20 carries and 19 through the air. Uh, Webster was uh, 3 for 10, no interceptions. Uh, ben Webster was also their uh, leading ground, pardon me, Ryan Webster was their leading ground carrier. He had 15 yards and 11 carries and a touchdown. And uh, like I mentioned, he was 3 for 10 throwing the ball. Uh, South was very dominating. Uh, West actually ran more plays offensively, but uh, that was a product of Saul's big plays and the uh, big time scoring ability. The scoring plays in the first half, Saul scored on a 28 yard Kabai to Wilson pass to open up the scoring. West tied it up on a one yard plunge by Webster to tie it at six, and then South went on a run. 72 yard touchdown run by Kabai, a 45 yard touchdown run by Smith, a 35 yard touchdown run by Smith, and then they capped off the uh, first half scoring South did with a 52 yard Kabai to Wilson pass. Whew, lots of scoring, Chris. Yeah, and just the explosiveness, and I know we said that towards the end of the second quarter, just how quickly they, st they struck. Uh, I was surprised West had thrown 10 passes, Marty. It sure didn't seem that way, and they have absolutely nothing going for them. The credit to South defense, the South offense, and uh, this is going to be a, uh, I think it's going to be a pretty fast half, but a long half for Sh Green Bay West because they got to get back on the bus, and they have a lot of work ahead of them. You mentioned about those 10 pass attempts. Uh, Ryan Webster had eight attempts in the second quarter. He hit on three, and uh, he only had two attempts in the first quarter. Renzelman and Brunette back deep for uh, South. Kick is high, taken at about the 19 yard line by Renzelman. Tries to bounce it to the outside and does and he's out to about the 34, 35 yard line. First and 10 for South as uh, we begin second half play. South on top again, 34 to six. He had a big second quarter, Chris. Scored four touchdowns, 28 points. Ball is spotted on the 33. A new uh, deep back, I believe. Lunging forward, number 25 for South. Danny Diener. Danny Diener. Danny Diener, and I'll play some baseball. Oh, I love that number 25, too. Diener on a three yard carry, second down and seven. That was my old number. Played high school football. Emphasis on old? Yeah. 
And knocked back is uh, the fullback, Jacob Bannock. Loss of a yard. Chris, it was 40 years ago that I played my senior season of football here in Sheboygan for wow. Sheboygan North. And our, our final game of the year was against uh, Green Bay Southwest, and we played it on this field. Had a touchdown that day. Ten-yarder right up the middle. There was no lights then, though. And it was on a no, Saturday. That was, that was a Saturday afternoon. Look out. Passes away. Bannock can't quite make the catch. That throw was made by Kabai. And it'll be fourth down. A lot of pressure on the tail there by Mike Dewan. That's where you need the old lift tackle to protect him there. Third punt. He had a 29 and a 37 yarder in the first half. Kick is away. Oh, not a good one. And it takes a pretty neutral bounce. It's going to go out of bounds at about the 44 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for West. Well, West, uh, West's offense certainly wasn't uh, very productive in the first half. Only 45 total yards. 16 of those, or pardon me, 19 of those uh, through the air. Webster was only 3 for 10. He was 10 for 21 last week for 163 yards. Has struggled today. Pass is complete. Nice making, play. Yeah, and making a nice catch was uh, Eric Bassett, and he got it out to about the 48-yard line of South. You know what I noticed, Marty, is with Weston, the shotgun like they are, seems like they throw long passes. They only gain six or seven or five yards on their passes because he's so far back already and he throws it, you know, 15, 16 yards. <laughs> the net result is uh, not much. That's yeah, a deep out, that's for sure, but not down the field deep, <laughs> wide deep. Quick out, good stiff arm, and then a nice tackle made on the captain. Colin Johnson. Colin Johnson on the tackle and that play that long completion goes for one yard. They threw it out to the right and uh, hoping to gain some yardage there, almost kind of like a wide receiver screen type play, but again, good pursuit by the D-backs for South, by Johnson there. Watch out for uh, Webster running up the middle. See, now you got one yard to go. Why are you in a shotgun? Spread the field and run it up the middle. And Fumble, and picked up by Webster, and is he gonna get it? It's gonna be close. Coming up to make the initial hit was Colin Johnson, but uh, we'll have to see where they spot it. Well, where, oh where is number 36 for West on that play? You got a 300, or excuse me, 250 pound fullback. Use him! <laughs> Here we go. Oh, fumbled handoff. Webster picks it up. Wow. And is he gonna get it? Good technique, good tackling technique. I mean, that's just grit and determination and a lot of, a lot of heart there. That's good stop, two big stops in a row there for Colin Johnson. Give him a no gainer on that play. It's gonna be fourth and one. Why don't you go out of the shotgun again? Good idea. Jeepers, creepers. You're not winding long. the clock. <laughs> <laughs> you need an inch. Unbelievable. Fake handoff. Webster up the middle. He's got the first down. Well, and more. Way to down prove inside me wrong. the 40. Unbelievable. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Call to 39. Pickup of eight. Ryan.
Ryan Webster again in the shotgun. All shotgun this drive for uh, West. Really? Most of the first half, too. Crossing pattern picked off. Number 44, Hendricks has it. Picks up a little bit of a block, and then he's knocked down inside the 30-yard line, and a late flag comes in. Oh, Matt. That was your dream. Your golden possibility for a TD. You got you to learn how to use your blockers. Here you're going to take a look at it. Webster uh, never saw the linebacker go out there. Boom, right to him. He had his eyes focused on his receiver, and even the receiver was double covered, Chris. Yeah. That was not a good decision that time by Ryan Webster. Illegal block on South on the return, but uh, they will keep the ball. It's going to be first and 10 South. We'll call it the 39 yard line. And they've got it again. Nice catch, nice return by Ben Hendricks. Diener behind center. Yeah, up close to the lone setback. Four wide receivers, inside handoff to Diener, tries to bounce off the middle of the pile and maybe picks up a yard, not much. South content to uh, run clock. Second down and nine. Is that a Bannock is the up back, pardon yeah. me, Chris. I was just gonna say at an up back this time. Give more room. Diener bouncing through and is knocked down at about the 32 yard line. Nice pickup that time. Danny Diener. Make it the 33-yard uh, line, so we'll pick up a five. Diener could end up with uh, more carries than Ray. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because he, do he does it in shorter chunks of yardage. Ray just goes for the whole package. Diener up the middle, slips a tackle. Come on. Struggling forward. He's got the first down. Nice run by Danny Diener. Good determination that time. First down south. Talking to Jeff Risto at halftime, and I don't know if uh, West maybe had one first down the entire first half. Ball is at the 28-yard line. And only had seven punts. Kabai at quarterback. South keeping it on the ground, stretch play, and Kabai is knocked down at about the 30 yard line, but we also have a flag down. It's gonna be illegal motion on, on South. Kabai asking the official, can I make this call? <laughs> you mind? Let's I would like him to accept it so I don't get a loss. Yeah. Is the penalty is declined, so Kabai will take the loss. Back to the 32, so that's a loss of four yards by John. And John's talking to Danny right there. How dare those guys do that? Second down and 14. Kabai straight back, rifles it out to Brunetti. He's got the catch, picks up a pretty nice block, and he's out of bounds near the first down. Andrew Walter out there providing assistance with the block. Ball is spotted at the 21-yard uh, line. Pickup of 11 yards on the play. Panic's getting it this time. Watch Marty. Third down and three. Oh, inside handoff, but West with good interior pressure. You think they heard me? And they knocked the ball player, ball carrier, Bannock back. I think they heard me. What are you gonna do here? You don't want to rub it in, but you can't really punt, so you got to go for it. It's not rubbing it in here because you're just, you know. 
fourth down and four ball on about the 22 yard line. Two wide receivers, we do have a tight end. Diener, the deep back, fake to him. Kabai has it on his hip, rolling, rolling, firing. He's got his receiver for a first down. Nice catch made out there by Grant Renzelman and he's down at about the five yard line. Hiding it on his hip. Lardnoise recognized it but couldn't catch up with the speedy Kabai. First and goal for South. The ball is spotted on the five yard line. Now is a 17 yard gain, Chris. John Kabai has looked good again today, Marty. Two weeks in a row. For Diener off tackle. There it is, only takes it up the middle. Picks up maybe a yard or two. Again, uh, West being a little more stubborn than they were in the first half. Second down and goal. Pick up a two yards by Diener. He's got five carries in the quarter already, Chris. You gotta smell it now. You gotta smell the end zone. Bannock the up back. Diener the deep back. Wide receivers left and right. Inside handoff to Bannock and he's pulled back. He maybe picked up a yard or two. Not much. Yeah, we'll give him a yard, but not much more than that. It's going to be third down in goal. Ball on the two. Spreading them out. Spreading them out is right. Two wide receivers to the left and right. Diener. Andrew Walter was the one going to the left there. In the backfield with a Kabai pitch out to Diener. Cuts it back into the end zone. Touchdown. Good for you, Danny Diener. Diener with a two-yard touchdown run. Here you get a look at it. They spread the field with all the wide receivers. And then Kabai pitched it out as soon as he felt that linebacker come up and make the stop. Well, this is the big one. If they make this one, we get the automatic clock running here. So uh, you know, we'll stop then on TDs and... Kickoffs, besides from that, that pickle will run. Kick by Moore is up and good. That makes it 41 to six with 321 remaining in the third quarter, south on top. Time for Inhaler Wrestling. Tonight's match, CFC Inhalers, the polluting inhalers of yesterday, take on CFC Free Inhalers. CFC Free Inhalers come out with a massive puffer pump pump, followed immediately by a flawless inhaler impaler. These CFC Free Inhalers are the smart choice for asthma management, Jack. I mean, just look at their moves. Ask your doctor about the new inhalers and call or visit the American Lung Association online to learn more. Forty-one to six, South on top. They've been dynamite tonight. Yep. Now the automatic clock goes. It'll only stop now on touchdowns and uh, change of possession till the ball is set. Then it'll start to roll. So we're basically going to have about twenty-five more minutes, and this game will be over unless West can score. That was a ten-play drive. Kabai was two for two on passing. Lehman has it. Cuts it back. Oh, he's breaking through. Tries to cut it back and gets it all the way up to the 44 yard line. Nice run by Richard Lehman. Well, he's wanted to a couple times today. Lehman is a shifty back. You got to keep your eye on him. Got to have good technique on the tackle. Ball is spotted on the 44 yard line. A lot of new faces in the south defensive lineup. Let's see how they do. Dylan McLaughlin in there. Number three is uh, 
Brett Watson. Yeah, he's your safety back there. Second back through. Bouncing and struggling forward was number 24, Chris Sedina. Sedina. His first carry of the ball game. And he makes it a good one. Picks up about five yards up to the 49. Shane Fultz on the play there, number 41. Tyler Ebers, number 43, still in the game. Sedina, the deep back, and there's your big fullback, Chris. Let's see if he gets it. I want him to get it, but he Second doesn't. back through. Nice carry up into South Territory to about the 48. Mark, our Grant Woodland, we saw him last week get some action in, late in the game. Ball is down to the 48-yard uh, line. Only a pickup of one. I thought he got more than that. Oh, we're going to give him two. It's going to be... Pick up a three. Third and two. Second back through. Bouncing to the outside. Sedina. And he's knocked down inside the 45 to about the 42. Nice run by that young man. Under a minute here, Marty. It's going to go fast now. Ball is spotted on the 43 yard line. Make it the 42. Pick up a five yards on that play. First down and 10 for West. They haven't had many of those. Deep oh, pass. No. Defender fell down and making the catch and the touchdown was Brandon Lardnoise. Well, that'll speed up the, or slow down the game again. Ryan Webster on the deep pass. Hits on a 42-yarder to his teammate, and that's a touchdown for West. Well, the defender out there was Dylan McLaughlin. He kind of tripped, and uh, that allowed Lardnoise to get behind him. And then uh, Webster made a nice throw, Chris. You got to give him credit for that. You mentioned it earlier, but uh, next week TV8 will be at uh, Eben Field out in Kohler when uh, Howard's Grove plays Sheboygan. Lutheran Kohler. South going for the two point conversion. Uh, pardon me, West going for the two point conversion. Now, oh, West making some personnel changes, and they're going to kick it. I don't think that one point would make a big difference in this ball game. It will if it's uh, 35 or, or 34 or 36, though. Or, yeah. you know, I mean, uh, in that respect, and it, uh, I suppose it gives your uh, team more of an opportunity to play. Kick is up, and it's good. Lard noise with the extra point. And with 27 seconds remaining in the third quarter, it's 41 to 13. United Church of Christ, no matter who you are or where you are in life's journey, you're welcome here. Back at South High School, not a lot of action in the crowd either. You mentioned that earlier, Chris, but uh, you're right. Been kind of a quiet night from the stands. South on top, 41-13. 
And Renzelman makes a catch at the 10, circles back inside the 10, looking for some blocking. It's a lot of white shirts. A brunette made two buffs on uh, block attempts. <laughs> and Renzelman gets tackled. Well, Brunette, you did some good blocking for your buddy uh, Smith. I guess you don't like uh, Renzelman so much. <laughs> I know we uh, mentioned... Uh, Just kidding. Just kidding. No calls from the moms. We know Travis is a good player, and he did some great blocking in the first half. <laughs> I know we mentioned uh, Chris Korf. He runs the offense, and uh, Jimmy Renzelman started the special teams. She mentioned some of the other coaches on uh, the uh, South High staff. Jamie Berlin, who's been there for a long, long time. Still with the program. He's an icon here at South. Oh, nothing going there. Not much blocking up front. Mike that Rank. Time. Mike Rank on the uh, staff. Mike also is the uh, basketball coach. I still think he's still out at Random Lake. Yeah, Mark Sager makes his first carry for uh, the Red Wings. He had a few carries last week. Uh, Todd Goodman's upstairs here. Todd Tudis is also on the staff. And uh, they got a like the last two weeks. And that's the end of the third quarter with three quarters in the book. South on top, 41 to 13. We love our pets. Our pets are family to us, but disasters can take you by surprise and change your entire life in a second. It's up to you to make sure your family is safe. And the best thing you can do is prepare. To find out how to protect your family, including your pets, in an emergency, please visit the ASPCA website or Tony LaRusso's Animal Rescue Foundation website. Be a responsible pet parent and be prepared. For 37 million Americans, this is life living below the poverty line. Every day, a struggle just to hang on. Right now, one in eight Americans lives like this. Many have jobs, children, families, and every day, hanging on gets a little bit harder. Find out what you can do. Please, don't let one more fall. Go to povertyusa.org and get involved. Second down and 10, Jacob Bristow in at quarterback. Second back, no, oh, he fakes it. Bristow running to the outside, gets by one defender and gets by a second before he's knocked out of bounds at about the 11 yard line. Making the stop was uh, the quarterback, Ryan Webster. Pickup of uh, two yards by Risto. There you see him slips by one, gets by the other, boom. That wasn't Webster, it was uh, Lard Noise, number 20. I'm sure, that's Layman, number 20, makes a stop. I'm sure, that's not the last Risto that's run around uh, Sheboygan neighborhoods well, really? in the past uh, 40 years, 50 years. They're like a bad habit, you can't get rid of them. <laughs> Risto drops back, fakes, and then he takes it up the middle, slipping by and gets it up to the 14-yard line before he's knocked down. By my boy, Greg Holly. 250 meet 146. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say 146 with all the equipment on. <laughs> yeah, really. That's after uh, Thanksgiving dinner at Grandma's house. Fourth down. Kick is away by Brunette. Catch is made at the 45. Oh, coming up and making a stop was number nine, Charlie Rissy. Oh, Johnny on the spot making a stop on Scott Elvey. It'll be first and 10 for West. This is a good tackle by Rissy. Watch that technique. Put the shoulder in them and wrap them up. Just the way we drew it up on the board, Chris. Well, West had the ball for 10 possessions in the first half. This is just their third in the second. 
It's just inside the 50, but we're going to call it the 50, so if they throw a long touchdown pass, it'll be a 50-yarder. And they got basically all their boys yet in there. Yeah, Webster's still in there, hands it off to Sedano, and uh, he struggles forward for a couple. There's nothing wrong with, you know, I guess there's nothing too much wrong. Just get some of those guys in there, but you know, that's good work for these second uh, stringer guys for uh, South because you never know when you're going to be counting on to... Uh, Get into a big game, and as uh, Marty mentioned in the in the beginning here, next four games get a little tougher for uh, South as they travel to Southwest. And Notre Dame is here on. Uh, I think Ashwaubenon is here. <laughs> get we'll to see West. Twice. We'll see West play uh, North in two weeks, actually. Yep. How, why does West get to play two games at? I mean, that's. Uh, a pass is way short by Webster, not even close. Why would West have to take two trips to Sheboygan? That doesn't matter. Well, I know they draw out of a hat, so. Uh, <laughs> Don't do it. There's no thought process to that. It is right. At draw it out court. of a hat. And then uh, Ashwabadon comes to South. That'll be interesting to see how where South stands in about three weeks. If that Ashwabadon team is somebody's pick to win this classic thing, but uh, there might be like a six team tie. Who knows by the time this is all said and done. All righty. West spreading the field with three wide receivers. They do have two in the backfield behind uh, Webster. Ryan Webster been at the controls all night. There's a penalty. Illegal motion on uh, West. Taking off a little too quick was number 11. Dylan Benton. That'll be a five yarder. Well, let's go back to my keys of the game here, Marty. I did have uh, number one was everybody loves Raymond. Keep him touches and, you know, keep feeding him the ball. He didn't get fed enough because he did so much work. He didn't get enough chances. But he got his 150 yards tonight. He hasn't played in the second half. But Ray Smith had another nice day. He's got close to 400 yards in just two ball games. Well, you know, when you get a game like this, he's not going to be playing the second half for the right. most part. You know, it doesn't make any sense. Plus, it is like rubbing it in. Yep. Webster's pass to a large noise goes incomplete. Key makes it fourth down. Turnover, or excuse me, uh, key point number two is get off to a good start. I would absolutely think that. They took the second possession and they scored. And then, obviously, they finished it off pretty well and put West down. And by the end of the second quarter there, things were, uh, West was finished. Uh, win the turnover battle, which they've done so far as well. The only thing I wish the crowd was a little more excited. I looked at there's some room on the ends down here. Hey, you people in Sheboygan, the south side, need to come out. This is an exciting football team. Another penalty. Rissy is uh, the deep back for uh, south, number nine. Penalty goes on west, another five-yarder. It's going to make it fourth and 18. Credit to the football team though, establishing the home field, two wins in a row at home. Next team that's gonna come down here will be Green Bay Notre Dame and that's in a couple weeks. And nice bounce for West, the ball is gonna die on about the 21 yard line. And it'll give South the ball with 10.03 uh, remaining in the ball game. The Red Wings on top, 41 to 13. We'll keep it here, Scott. Thought this was going to be a fast half. It has Our been a quarter. fast. Yeah, it's been a fast half so far. Just uh, when they scored that uh, touchdown, West did that uh, yeah. stopped the running clock. Well, as I said, South has basically unloaded the bench. West has still got a number of their guys still in there. Sager, the deep back, Risto at quarterback. He keeps it on the. Uh, Quarterback keeper and gets it out to the 30 yard line. Nice run by Jacob Bristol. It's always better to avoid tacklers than to be tackled, and that time he did. And very close to the first down. The officials are looking at it and they're signaling first down. So a 10 yard pickup by Jake. First and 10 south, ball on the 31 yard line. The, 
the line for uh, Sal's defense and offense has really been stellar in the ball game. Uh, they've really put a lot of pressure on West, whether they're running the ball or putting pressure on the passer. That time, Risto gets very little on the keeper. Make it second down for South. Just like taking a tray out of the cafeteria there. Greg Holly grabs that jersey of Risto. And uh, Jacob didn't have much of a chance there. Second down in about eight, eight or nine. Pitch out to Diener, slips by one tackler and gets it up over the 35 yard line to about the 36. Again, pretty good pressure by West. They stepped it up a little bit. Brunette with a nice block again. Third down and about six. We'll call it five. Three wide receivers, two to the left. Inside handoff to Diener. He's going to be stopped short at about the 40 yard line. Fourth down. And the punting unit coming on. It's going to be uh, fourth and one. Diener picked up uh, four yards on the carry. It's nice that uh, Chris Hine and Chris Korf get other guys involved. Right from the get-go in the start of the second half, uh, that was their plan, and uh, they I were still very efficient, even with uh, you know Ray Smith not in there. I thought you made an excellent point, Chris, when you said you know you got to get those guys playing time because you never know when they're going to be called upon in uh, in a you know a important situation. They got to yep. be ready to go. You know, it could be you know someone gets hurt. Maybe it's for two plays or three plays or. Maybe for a couple plays and things like different things are goofy that happen. I think they just called timeout to save the, uh, the yardage here. Chris Hine coming back to the sidelines. South on top, 41 to 13. There's 722 remaining in the ball game. And Per usual, South has treated us real well. Of course, we didn't win the 50-50, but uh, I guess you got to buy a ticket, huh? Yeah, sometimes I do. I didn't get it this time. I like how they got the tape out for sections and stuff right. here, and uh, you know, even when we're indoors and stuff, there's a lot of people fighting for spot stuff. So, we thank thought Jason TV Lederman for. Yeah, we thought TV 20 was going to be here, but uh, the equipment's all set up, but uh, nobody up here. Lehman, the deep back. Lehman calls for the fair catch and uh, goes down inside the 30. He just got a response about the uh, North score. Sheboygan North 21, Ashwaubenon 53. Oops. Well, we knew it was going to be a tough road tonight for uh, North. Ashwaubenon is just outstanding. And and another uh, penalty flag. Yeah. The legal procedure on South has declined, so uh, West will get it uh, at about the 29-yard line. There's 7:15 remaining in the ball game. South on top, 41 to 13. Let's see. Uh, Webster is still in there at quarterback. Yes, he is. Saldana is the deep back. Takes it up the middle. Ooh, squirting through the middle of the line. Nice run. That was uh, number 23, Billy Sider. We haven't seen much of him since the first quarter. He had a couple of early uh, carries. Bursts up the middle for nine. 
Second down and one ball on the 38 yard line. You know, as I'm looking at the West roster here, they have a lot of young players. A lot of sophomores and juniors. Sider bouncing off a tackle. Gets underneath the pile, up near the 40. I believe he's gonna have the first down. I mean, they have nice a run. few kids that are seniors that contributed tonight, but for the most part, you know, this, this entire unit will be back next year. Now we will see them take on North in a couple weeks. North, we haven't mentioned them. They travel to Pulaski. Pulaski beat West 27 to 12, and you know I think 37 no, to 12. I think oh, that was. 37 to 12. Okay. Uh, tell you what, take North takes care of the uh, the football a little bit better. They can uh, they can play with some of the teams in this league. Ooh, your man got the ball. Big number 36, Greg Holly stood up again. Yes, he was. Noah Ross there on the play for South, number 75. He actually lost a yard. Too so much, so much for that plan. 250 meet 250. Refrigerator Holly. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in there. Well, maybe run the option with him. I think he's a little slow getting off the ball, Chris. That was part of the problem. And when you get in those situations where you need the one yard, if you're slow getting off the ball, it's pretty tough. Long pass to Lardnoise. He's got it. Whoa, he took it right away from the south defender. And he's down at about the 21 or 22 yard line. Nice catch by Brandon Lardnoise. You know, when it's all said and done, the yardage is going to be a little closer now, but and the score is going to be closer. But it wasn't a game. There was not a game. Large noise is hurt. Forty-one yard pickup on that play. Well, he went down kind of funny, you know, and they rolled over. And uh, well, there's a good sign, he's up. Bruised and abused, but uh, still all in all made a real nice catch and run. And a good throw by uh, Ryan Webster. Ball on the 21 yard line, it's first and 10 west. Clock running, 5.15 remaining. Good shot there by Eric Wiesman. Cider, I believe that was, pounding the ball up the middle. 12 on the carry, Bo Rogenbauer. And a few seniors. Picks up six on the carry. Ball on the 15. And I don't know what the holdup is all about. South bringing in another defender, Ku Yang. Webster under center. Oh, whistle just before the snap. Illegal procedure on West. That hurts. Ku Yang in the game, number 19. Unfortunately, Timmy Schrader got a little hurt working on his shoulder. Who? Shooting the moon. Very pretty. Now draw back, and there's the field. Hey, now you can see the face in the moon. Pretty sweet. Smiling because Salt is winning. Second down and nine. Oh, south that time. <laughs> Little quick. A center's nightmare. And the defensive tackle just knocks <laughs> him straight back. And you turn over like a turtle. <laughs> can't, really? Can't move. Second down and four. They're kind of going back and forth. 15, 20, 15, 20. Under four minutes, that's what's important. This one's and in, running. in the bank collecting interest. Victory. 
Rogan Bauer, the deep back. He gets the handoff, tries to bounce it outside. Yang on the tackle amongst others. It's gonna be third down. Pick up of, uh, let's see, where is that down to the 12 yard line? Pick up of three yards by Rogan Bauer. Third down and a long one. Saldana in the backfield again. He's the deep back. They give it to him. He tries to bounce it outside and he cuts it back up the middle. Getting near the end zone. He fumbled. Is he in? He fumbled the ball, Marty. Touchdown, oh. West. He may have fumbled it and West recovered. Either that, he fumbled it after he got over the end line. But in any case. I think Bassett. I think Bassett picked up the fumble, Marty. We'll have to watch this on the see. replay. He cuts it back. He loses it there. There it is. It's laying on the ground. You're right. And West comes down with it. Number six. Nope, 24 got it. 24 kept it. Six was next to him, but, but he got his own fumble. 12-yard run for a touchdown. West going for two. Webster under center. Saldana tries to cut it back up the middle. Nothing doing. That is no good. With 2.58 remaining, West has scored again. It's now 41 south, 19 west. Dad? Yeah. What does that sound like? Tough question, huh? No, oh dear. All you have to do is listen. was the last time you heard God? <laughs> Come, listen to us. I hear God all around. Chris Saldana, who scored that last touchdown, Chris, is a 5'9 sophomore. So he's one of those young guys you're talking about. And, you know, as you look through the roster, a lot of sophomores and juniors. Oh, boy. Of seniors. We got the onside kick coming up in South Calls timeout. Oh boy, been waiting for this all day. Uh, Coach Renzelman telling all the people where they belong. Practice it. Yep, might, might as, well. as well use it, that's, that's right. right. What, uh, what, what the heck? What the heck? Key here is to get the little guys all running towards the ball. The, the first guys for West are supposed to lay some wood on the Red Wing guys and the second tier guys are supposed to pick up the ball, so we'll see. Clean it up. How it works. Ball must travel 10 yards, so cannot be touched by a West player before it gets to the 50. Well, good call by South to get that timeout in. Don't let them uh, get the ball again. You know, South gets it now, they can run out the clock. Good point. All righty. Making the kick is uh, Josh what I, what I don't like about West here is they don't get a running start. Why would you land in a line? Why don't you be back at the 30? I mean, <laughs> oh. that's just not. Well, you know what he didn't get? Tim Schrader on the uh, recovery, but uh, he didn't get the bounce. Yeah, but they had... Uh, Actually, that was number five, Curtis Wilson. Yeah, what they, but they didn't have there, Marty. I mean, they, they just started flat. I... No, I know what you mean, but uh, one thing you do then is you don't go offside. At least, you know, you right. shouldn't. Right. So I can see what he's trying to do. Unless there's some rule in high school, you can't do that. But Okay, uh. ball is spotted just short of the 50. This time we're going to call it the 49. So if they get a long pass, touchdown pass play or something, it's going to be 51 yards. Risto at the controls. Sager, the deep back. Diener in motion. Stretch play, Sager spins off a one tackler, spins off a second tackler, and then he's knocked down at the 50, so he picks up a yard. One yard run makes it second down and nine. 
Clock running, 2.35 remaining in the ball game. South with a 22 point lead, it's 41 to 19. They have uh, not scored, uh, pardon me, they did score in the third quarter, Diener on a two yard run. West has a couple of touchdowns. Wide receiver is number, uh, I can't pick out that number. Sager hitting the backfield for a loss of about uh, two yards. Chris gonna go downstairs, see if he can get some interviews. Ball spotted back to the 48, that's a three yard loss. Third down and 12. Bristol, ducks under center. Second back through, Sager busts through the middle. He's got the first down to the 40 yard line, inside the 40. Nice quick hitter by South, and a good run. Mark Sager. There you see a good spin move. Ball is spotted at the 39 yard line. 13 yard pickup by Sager. Rolling down to uh, a minute, minute 10. Clock running. Two wide receivers off to the left. We're still first back through as Diener. He gets spun around, but he moves forward. He's still on his feet inside the 35. Nice run by Danny Diener. Ball spotted at the uh, 34 yard line. Makes it a five yard pickup. Second down for the Red Wings. They played a great game. Rolled to a lot of yardage in the first half. 346, they're not gonna get nearly that amount this half, but uh, they've controlled the ball for the most part. Risto goes back, kneels down. Ball will be spotted at the 37. South content to run out the clock. We're down to uh, 10 seconds. And that's gonna be it. South is gonna come away with the winner. 41 to 19. And that's the ball game. Both teams coming out to midfield to uh, shake hands. And South starts their season 2-0. and West. Uh, goes to 0-2, South 1-0 uh, in -on conference play, and uh, they'll be on the road next week. With that, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, Chris will have a couple of uh, the South High people to interview. Again, South the winner, 41-19. Put yourself in her place. You were never the pretty one or the smart one. Nobody understood. Most of the time you hate your family and frankly, sometimes they hate you. Once you even try to hurt yourself. Eventually they send you away and you think your life is over. But really, it's just beginning. Since 1913, Star Commonwealth has helped thousands of troubled kids get a new perspective on life. Help us keep it going. Visit star.org. Do it today. Tragedy it is to see you lost in your addiction Reminds me of a story that someone told me
What's it like when you hear your calling? Will you ignore it? Or will you listen? What if it calls you to go halfway around the world? To serve people you've never met? What will you do when you hear your calling? Peace Corps, life is calling. How far will you go? Approximately 1.6 million youth run away from home each year. One third of runaway and homeless youth have attempted suicide. That's why my foundation, the Ludacris Foundation, teamed up with the National Runaway Switch Board to help bring awareness to the problems facing runaway youth in America. Call 1-800-RUNAWAY or go to www.1800runaway.org. Don't run away, love. You're not on your own. Open your eyes and come back with me. Open your eyes. Dude, are you sure you want this tattoo? Because just do it. Some mistakes in life are permanent. Like hearing loss. To learn how to protect your hearing, visit asha.org. It's real. There's no debate. Harp seals need solid ice to survive, yet the ice is disappearing. Despite this bleak outcome, there's an even greater threat to seals. Man. Canada kills thousands of seals each year. Tell the government this hunt must end. Visit StopTheSealHunt.org to take action today and help IFAW create a better world for animals and people. Put yourself in his place. You grew up on the streets. Your role models weren't your parents. You didn't have much, but then you figured you didn't deserve much. Then you land in trouble. When they send you away, you think your life is over. But really, it's just beginning. Since 1913, Star Commonwealth has helped thousands of troubled kids get a new perspective on life. Help us keep it going. Visit star.org. Do it today. Back at South High School, and Chris is waiting on the track. He's got a couple of the South High players. Here we go, Chris. Back here with two uh, happy uh, Red Wings here. Maddie, I thought one of the keys of the game was you guys to get off of a quick start, and I think you guys did that right away. Yeah, we uh, came out a little bit slow, but we picked it up after that. Our team got it going. We had a little hype-up talk on the sideline, and we really got it going after that. We really picked it up. I know last week you guys gave up a lot of yards, but the first half today you guys gave up about 50 yards total offense. That was just incredible. Defense really had a you know, good job. Yeah. Must have been something you did all week. Yeah, well, coach, coach always tells us, Ben, but don't break defense. That's what we are now. Uh, we can't give up a lot of points, but our offense is still going to score a lot, so we just got to keep on working out there. Can't let the other team score. Uh, turnovers the case, you got an interception. I thought you were gonna score, my gosh, you let me down there. But uh, again, second week in a row, you guys won the turnover battle. Yeah, it's really important for our team because we just, we gotta work at it. We gotta get interceptions for our offense to get the ball, put, this, put the ball in the end zone. Trying to, uh, I said that one of the other keys was establishing the home field advantage again. Uh, two games at home, two wins. Yeah, our fans are pretty good over here. <laughs> they always are yelling and stuff, helping us out. We got good fans. Well, have a good week of practice and good luck next week at Southwest. John, offense, holy cow, in that first half, 250 plus yards total, something like that. It was just incredible. Two weeks in a row, the offense has been rolling. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to commend the whole line. You know, they don't get a lot of credit. And um, 
One thing I noticed is that's fantastic is our wide receivers blocking. It's just excellent. I mean, just opens up outside runs all night. So how about those wide receivers blocking? <laughs> it's great. It's great. You know, I'm sure it's a running back's just dream. You know, <laughs> having all that room outside is just fantastic. Yeah, I and uh, Ray Smith two weeks in a row. Not so many carries. Got to sit in the second half, but still, I mean, he's got to be a nice tailback to have back there. Oh yeah, it's nice. I mean, handing the ball off and you look back, he's already what ten yards downfield, <laughs> bouncing off another block. So. It's nice. You know? <laughs> Not only your uh, wide receivers block, but they're catching a lot of passes too. Two weeks in a row, you've been right on the money, and your receivers are catching the ball, and you know not only just catching the ball, but yards after the catch too. Big gains after that. Yeah, I mean, the first touchdown that uh, Curtis had, he really put a move on the guy. I think that guy's jockstrap was still on the field, so uh, you know it was a great, great job running after the catch by them. So. You know, it was, it's nice. Yeah, I even had a couple woo woo when you did that like that. He did a nice couple spin moves. Uh, now let's talk about the team here. You know, want to get off to a good start, get the momentum going. You know, obviously you got to go on the road. You got a couple of tough teams ahead of you, but this is the kind of start you guys probably wanted. Yeah, I mean, well, two and all is, I guess it's ideal, you know. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's obviously what we wanted. We just got to keep going, getting to practice every day, working harder, working harder, improving things we have to improve on. So. Well, John, you had a great couple weeks. I look forward to you in the next couple weeks. Good luck on the road. It gets a little bit tougher. But, hey, we got two two uh, happy Red Wings here, and Sheboygan South is 2-0. Oh. With that, we'll send it back to Marty. Good job on the interviews, Chris. Uh, for the night, Sheboygan South, uh, big three on offense were the story. Uh, Ray Smith had 150 yards and nine carries. He had two touchdowns. John Kabai, there you saw him in the interview, had uh, eight carries for 96 yards. He also hit on Five of ten passes for 111 yards and two touchdowns, so he accounted for three scores tonight. And Curtis Wilson only had two catches, but they went for 80 yards and two touchdowns. As a unit, the uh, South defense was outstanding all night, especially in the first half, limiting uh, West to only 45 yards. That's going to do it for our broadcast. Uh, Sheboygan South, a winner, 41-19. to Their next game will be at... Green Bay Southwest, TV8 will be at Kohler next week when uh, Lutheran Kohler hosts the Howard's Grove Tigers. For the crew, Steve Reiner and Eric Wiesman on the camera, Scott Miloff spinning the dials in the truck tonight, doing a great job of directing. For my partner, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we'll see you down the road.